inside the mind of Amanda. Today, I share with you the techniques I use to manifest things in my life. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a law of attraction coach and today I'm ask, answering a viewer's question. And the question is, Amanda, what manifestation techniques do you use? Oh, I'm so very glad you asked because I'm going to share that with you today. <laughs> Just before I do, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe. Hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. And if you're looking for a law of attraction coach, definitely check out the email coaching. The link is in the description below. Start creating something wonderful in your life. So what techniques do I use? Well, brace yourself. Do you have a pen and paper? Get ready. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I only use one. I use a mental diet. I have a very strict mental diet where I'm very disciplined. I'm very focused. And yeah, I think positive. Pretty much I would say I'm going to create 100% of the time. Now, you know, it's not even so much that we have negative thoughts. It's about how we structure the thoughts that we have, okay? So let's say, for instance, you know, I'm making plans to go out with some people out for dinner, okay? And then all of a sudden, you know, so I'm worried that people are going to cancel, then people start canceling, and then I say, oh, you know what, Jerry, this just isn't working out. Why aren't people, you know, committing and getting back to me, and why are people canceling? Like, ah. Uh, Right now, that statement all comes from a desire for wanting everybody to show up for dinner and everybody, you know, for it to work out smoothly. So what I'm in the habit of doing is stopping myself instead of saying all that and saying, you know what? No, I intend for this to work out. I intend for everybody to show up. I intend for everyone to be on time. and I intend to be able to plan this easily and effortlessly. Okay, so it's really just about changing our language into what we want rather than what we don't want. Why doesn't he love me? Easy. I intend for him to love me. So that's all I do is stick to a strict mental diet. I mean, you know, I'm, I'll am admit I'm lazy, which makes me very efficient. You know, I mean, once in a while I will do, um, you know, some visualization, but mostly it's really just a strict mental diet from day to day to day to day and watching what I'm focusing on and what I'm saying. Okay. You know, um, a minute, just this morning, I was dealing with some things and all of a sudden just, I was like, everything's falling apart. I'm like, I'm crumbling. And then I thought to myself, I was like, I really like, sat there. I was like, no, I intend for all this to work out. I intend for all this to work out according to how I want it to work out. I was like, what am I even worried about? I'm like, my thoughts, great. I'm God of my universe. Of course, this is going to work out and got on my intentions, right? So that's all I do is I stick to a really strict mental diet. I say to myself, first of all, what do I want? And then I get clear on it. Okay. So let's say, for instance, I want to be married to my SP. Okay. Then I say to myself, what would my thoughts be if I was married to this person? And then I only entertain thoughts of that when I go throughout my day. So for instance, I intend for Jerry to marry me. Oh, and then I think to myself, what happens if Jerry's not ready and he's had a bad marriage before and he doesn't want to marry me? No, I intend for Jerry to want to marry me. I intend for Jerry to be over his baggage. I am good enough and this is going to happen. Okay, I know my thoughts create. Everyone is me pushed out. Okay, so yeah, even if I don't believe something, I still create intentions. And I'll tell you, I'm excited when things show up sometimes. Like Andrew, he sits there and he's like, why are you so excited? You got your what you were intending on manifesting. And I'm like, because I never really believe it's going to show up. <laughs> he's like, but you've been creating intentions. You do it all the time. Yeah, I do do it all the time. But I mean, the thing is, right, is it's still very much a surprise when it shows up because all we have to do is consistently, persistently assume what we want and it'll eventually show up whether we believe it will or not. The only thing we need to believe is that A, our thoughts create 
and B, that we could be, do, and have anything that we want. So what do I do for a main manifestation technique is I just think positive. I know it's going to work out. It always works out. My thoughts create. I always get what I want. And I do. And it's just about keeping focused on what I want. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the restaurant's going to be busy tonight. No, I intend for the restaurant to be empty and for us to get a table beside that fireplace, right? So it's really just about shifting our focus from what we're thinking to to creating it into what we actually want and thinking from that end, okay? So yeah, that is all I do. Now, the other question I'd like to actually answer is, can you ever think positive intentions too much? Absolutely not. There is no such thing as thinking positive too much, okay? You want to always keep focused on what you want constantly throughout the day. You have 10,000 thoughts a day. You get to choose what they are in every second of the day, okay? And if it isn't going to be a positive thought about the subject, then the other part of it is going to be a negative thought about the subject. So you make a choice. Whenever you think of something, it's totally fine. Just make sure you're thinking about what you want and thinking from the end that you've already got it, okay? Anyways, yes, I know this video will help you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.